Okay. Oh, just checking my... I don't know how much of the blue I washed out of my hair. Um, okay, let me check multi-stream that. Okay, so, um, welcome to uh, not Magic Mushrooms Mead uh, while I find that done okay uh yeah welcome to not magic mushrooms mead um i uh have a couple players who couldn't make it and then another player who said oh well it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow so uh if you don't mind i'd like to take tonight off and then the last player said well <laughs> I guess technically same, <laughs> which is absolutely fine, of course. Babies are very important. Um, I don't think the music is too loud for you, but it's currently too loud for me, so i got to turn it down. Okay, so, um, well, today I'm going to be doing a little um, cartography and also uh, um, gonna be doing a little bit of cartography and also probably some video games. Why don't I have that set? Moved. There we go. Um, so, uh, but first, got to talk about Arkenforge because we are an Arkenforge affiliate. And let me pull up my little thing to talk about it. Um, as I hit play on here. Um, so, um, Arkenforge, the master's toolkit, it offers a, uh, well, it is a one-time payment with no subscription fee, which is great. It can be used fully offline, can be installed on, on an unlimited number of devices with a single purchase. You can easily import and manage your own content. You can even drag and drop from Explorer right onto the window and boom, there you go. There's your asset. Um, you can build fully animated maps with real-time lighting, hook up a TV or projector for uh, in-person play. Uh, you can also play online with uh, Discord or Zoom or whatever like, uh, like, like we do. Um, manage your campaigns with a robust linkable note system. Set the scene with immersive audio. You get a full commercial license for your exported maps as long as you're not using copywritten uh, um, assets, as long as you've got the rights for those assets that you're using. Um, all of the Ark and Forge official assets are uh, given a commercial license um, and you can sell those maps to your heart's content. Um, and it is touchscreen compatible for use with physical minis. I think they've shown a couple times on uh, this video already. So, use code MUSHROOMTIPS, one word, at checkout for $5 off of the Master's Toolkit, either the Fantasy or Sci-Fi Starter Pack. Uh, that includes the Master's Toolkit and either the Fantasy or Sci-Fi Essentials Content Pack. Uh, you also have a 14-day free trial. You might as well test it out first, see what it's like, and uh, yeah, that is that. And I'm actually going to switch to something else because literally, as the stream was saying, starting soon, they announced their next content pack, and yes, you can see that. So, actually, let's pause this so that we don't get anything going over top of it. Oh, 
Animated animals. March 17th. There you go. Uh, you can't use mushroom tips to get that, but we found out, uh, and they found out because they didn't know, you use mushroom tips to purchase the master's toolkit, and then going forward, um, we get a little kickback for everything that you purchase. So we get a little $1 kickback if you purchase, say, Animals of the Land for uh, a content pack later. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's turn off that and close that and then turn back on the dark synth mix. Uh, do I want dark synth or do I want some of his, I think I want some more hype stuff. Synth wave. Let's get some eighties retro synth. Um, yeah, eighties retro synth. Pause this one. Get this one going. Yeah. All right. So then, um, game is that gonna pick it up? Should capture the master's toolkit. Perfect. Alrighty. And let's close that. So we shouldn't need that. And let's bring that down. And alright. So, um, I'm going to close the chat box frame because that's getting in the way. And. Yeah, this is what I have so far. Um, our first, uh, well, where we're going, and actually that is, that is really loud now. It started off quiet. There we go. Um, where we're going to be playing next, our uh, next campaign is going to be the Bloodlords campaign for uh, Pathfinder. We're gonna be learning Pathfinder as we play. All, all five of us are going to be learning as we play, so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, getting the first map built up, um, and actually here you can see one of uh, Arkan Forge's um grouped tile sets which is pretty awesome and you can see the uh tile move behind it as well and oh i pressed Control z with a big group <laughs> it doesn't like that um controls that again. Let's get that moving back to where it originally was. Or can I? Oh, there. Come on. Come on. No. I have to manually move it. Come on. There we go. My, uh, CPU is having some trouble. I'm downloading a game that I'm probably not going to be able to play because it's 75 gigabytes and at about 5% right now. <laughs> so, um, oh, and I think the. Is this out of order? It might be. Oh, you know what? I opened this in beta, not in... Okay. Um, yes, exit. Don't save changes. Okay. I opened the beta, which is 
Uh, or no, I think I opened the regular. I don't even know now. Bait is ahead. So that's what I want to open. There we go. That's definitely what I was using earlier. Yes, and open. And Bloodlords. And open this. Circles, so that's better than what happened when I opened in public. Because in public, I was able to select this. Oh, I'm still able to select it. Yep, still happened. Just uh, letting the devs know that I was able to accidentally select something that should not have been able to be selected. There we go. Um, I don't have enough people watching right now. I'd really love someone's input on which of these two I should use. Um, and they actually look better on that little screen, so... We'll see, once I get a few more people. Um, but for the time being, yes, that's all in place. And the order is correct. It doesn't have stuff that should be on the bottom up on top, so that's good. Um, there's that, and I'm gonna need a bunch of rubble. Um, that blown off its hinges and a bunch more rubble here um, yeah I think I'm gonna start with the hill so edge of the hill in the official one in foundry it was created by Forgotten Adventures. So I might as well use some Ad Forgotten Adventures uh, assets. I'm kind of about 50-50. Oh, maybe 75% Forgotten Adventures and the rest is, uh, um, the rest is Ark and Forge. But uh, where is uh, Cliffs and Ridges? Dirt Cliff? Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, that fits there. Oh no, because I don't want this going over that, so I do want this down a bit. And then, let's see. There we go. And that's inside. I want it out. Oh, that's an end. by four. Oh, that's two by two. That's why. Cliff straight, 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 ending, corner, out. Two by two. I need a corner 
in. Yes, I'm going to need a corner in. And this is 4x4. Four four. So, turn that like that. That's not as big as this one. It's because I got... No. Well, that's disappointing. Why is this one so much thicker than... like that's not the 4x4 that looks more like the 2x2 two two. there's a 2x2 two two so that I can oh, but that's a different type but that is the same size hmm maybe that's why they used the cave one. I'm pretty sure that's the one that they used. So it's white like that. turn. Well, first I need a straight. So let's get this in there. Alrighty. And there we go. This is more like what I've got there. Coming right from the book. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to move this stuff down because, or I could move the post up. I can move the post. That's probably better. Or I could just put this below that so that it's butting up. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I will put this below the wall and then move this part of the wall so that it is butting up and then I'll just move this forward probably a quarter, maybe a quarter square. Might need half of a square. Okay, that's the same, really thin. Oh, it it specifically says thin. That's <laughs> dummy. Jeez. Um, ridge, straight, ending, corner, out. That's still that one. Cave, ca uh, cave cliff, straight, straight, ending, corner out, corner in. Okay, there we go. So, like that, and then a corner in that's a little too much of a corner in mm. a 
corner oak that is. There's a straight that went up. This straight goes up a lot more. Okay. over there okay and then a more simple straight and then we're going for a corner out there we go and corner out that's more like it okay and then a sort of corner in needs to be over here. Wider corner in. So I need to get to this point somehow, which is what this is going to be for. This or this is much wider, I think, this one. One and overlap. There we go. So this is going to be a little. Oh, that's much closer than I'd like it to be. Especially if I'm moving this down. Oh no, I decided not to move it down. That's right. That will work. Um, so there. There, that overlaps perfectly. And then I need a good, a less strong corner out um, I flip this transform vertical there we go doesn't overlap perfect there we go that's a little better And there, now we can do a corner out. Uh, assets. Um, the, that's too small. Okay, this corner out. marks um, there and I gotta get to that point so anywhere there and I need a very small one of these that's as small as she gets There we go. 
now, gotta do the same coming down here. So I know that this needs to be an ending that is going further out. So flip vertical. Hey, no Uber Eats. I do not need Mama Burger right now. Uh, let's collapse these. That's a little easier. Um, I think all of these are going to have to be flipped so that they go in the right direction yeah yeah they're probably all gonna need to be flipped to get to that point actually you need to get to behind that arch mm. hmm In this works give them a little extra room here and then an actual straight there we go and one of these longer ones that swoops and it's a little too much of a swoop let's Flip you horizontally or vertically and swoop. There we go. And then grab the smallest one. Uh, I don't need color options. I need this. Is one of these good? One of these should be good. Actually, yeah, that works perfectly. Okay, now let's grab, oh no, let's uh, make sure this is good. So, let's put this to the top. No, I want to also grab those. So let's move, is it this one? No, nope, it's gonna be this one. You and ungroup. I want to grab you, 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 and put you. Oh, if I put you on top, are you going to mess things up? Just a little. Grab you, grab you, grab you. Gotta grab each of these. Should have kept it grouped because that would have made things simpler. Grab you and you and you and you and you and you and you. And you. to top. That should put you, yes, perfect. So move you back there, and then move 
this, we want to move you so that you are just overlapping. There we go. And let's move this a little further. And I don't even have to touch the barbed wire. Perfect. Okay, and let's save that so I don't have to do it again. Grab all of these. And let's group them and lock them and poof, there we go. That's done. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. What is next? So those are supposed to be empty. Uh, that is softened. It just looked hard from further back. Um got the well in uh, I haven't decided on the table but I've got to put stuff onto it so let's shrink you and what exactly does this say this says that the ancient hall uh, da, 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 uh, heaped with baskets and jars filled with berries and vegetables. Okay. And gardener's implements lie in a tidy arrangement at the south end. Alright, perfect. So, let's grab. No, I don't need cage. I don't need bridges. I need, uh, I need baskets and stuff. I need baskets and stuff. Okay. So, um, basket. Okay, a bunch of wicker baskets. See if there's any that have stuff in them, or do I need to manually fill them? I think I'm going to have to manually fill them. I just remembered I did not retweet myself. So let's open up Twitter and load... Non load. Okay. Hit like and share. Retweets. Okay. Who else retweeted me? Geospatial Python. Whoever you are, thank you for retweeting me. Um. Sure that I can see. Oh, I don't need settings on <laughs> anymore <laughs> um okay so what kind of baskets do i have okay i don't have too many baskets i might need to fill some of them basket of eggs i thought that was a brain at first um and I don't quite like the realism of this versus, I mean, those are urchins, not this, but that's too realistic for what I'm looking for. I wanted more like that, only those are, those cabbages are not looking good. Um, yeah, DPS. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to manually fill these baskets. So let's go with all six of these. And let's go. Um... I'm going to put this over here just so that I have a guideline of where stuff is going to be. 
And then grab the six of these. And um, let's go three and three. I may be using a template here. of that we got one here and then on top of those we got one two and three and over here we've got one and then uh one uh two three four and then on top and on top and on top top and then on top and on top and on top and on top and then over here we've got one two three four five six and over here we've got one and two and on top is three and then four one over here and one uh one two and three okay and let's give these some wonk Actually, I'm going to uh, add a text and um, by no. So add new source uh, music add source um, music by Carl, oh, is it with a C or a K? Um, C. Uh, Carl, uh, Casey at White Bat Audio. Alrighty, done, and let's move this down to where that is, there. That should go there, and I don't know why I've got the donation thing up there. Don't have donations, is it under labels? Yeah, got it turned off. under webcam there we go i did not need donation new donation thing because we can't accept donations yet um okay show let's see now i need to go into props and it's, it's going to be the food in there um, no, that is cooked food. Um, is it gonna be under farm crops? Yeah, it's under here. So I'm gonna need 
Oh, I was gonna give these wonk first. So uh, let's lock the table so I don't accidentally move it. This a little wonk there. That is good there, and this is good here. Let's get this little wonk there. And then this one's good like that. Uh, this one, let's give it a little schmooch there. And then this one, spin around like this. Like I said, I am kind of using a template. Um, it's, uh, I mean, I shouldn't, but I am because it looks good, but we are an Ark and Forge affiliate. I'm gonna be making all the maps. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be remaking all of the maps in uh, Ark and Forge. Um, so these three are all, I might as well grab all four since they're all, um, there we go. So this one on top of there, this one on top of there, and this one gets a bit more of a wonk. And then, um, here, this one on the bottom is pretty whoomp. Then, uh, on top of that one, that one's pretty much straight. Um, this one on the bottom here, uh, gotta grab these and move them. This one on the bottom here is straight, as is this one on top of it, actually. And then I need to turn this, and this one is a little more, and this one is straight up. This one is a little like that. Let's move these a little closer. Uh, this one should be on top of those. Um, these two are like that. And this one, good wonk under there. Okay. That one's good. Let's make these ones a little bigger. And over here, like that. Those two schwamp. And this one can be a little more. And they are down here. This one's here. Um, oh, I think I got an extra one. Unless I have an extra one. Okay, so I do have an extra one. Yeah, which would be this one. Oof. And these like that down. That's good there. Uh, this one, that, and this there. Okay, this one, give a little wonk. Um, and um, since most of these, I might as well do them all. And then I can turn these two back. Okay, so in we've got this one up and get this one a little wonk and this one on top. And that one is straight and this one's wonky 
this way and get these a little bit up. This should be down. And these two are oh, these two are more like this. Okay. And then down here, these are all like this. So whoop. Womp and womp, swoop, swap, and sweep. Okay, that's those yarp, yarp. Okay, Lee, do Kaylee. Let's fill some of these. Um, this one has fine pumpkins, wheat. That's not what I'm looking for. So, do I have, can I just cabbage? So I've got, is that all the cabbage I have? I thought I had way more. I've got duplicates of the ones that... <laughs> I've got duplicates of the uh, Forgotten Adventures ones. By the way, I did already mention, but the majority of these are... These assets I'm using are either... Oh, excuse me. Are either going to be from. Uh, Oi! Are either going to be from um, Arkham Forge or from. Uh, oh, jeez. Forgotten Adventures. I'm gonna move that back there and I've got to grab all these and move them over here um, actually let's move them up a level and then let's turn on blocking drop shadow and then duplicate and turn off block or drop shadow for those ones and let's move these down like that and then let's give these a little swoop to their color brightness zero and opacity 25 and then move them all down to the bottom. Um, okay, doesn't look like they're on the bottom. There we go. So grab them all and unlock, and then um, that should be all. Alt minus, that's my hotkey. And there we go. That gives me a drop shadow on all of these, which includes overlapping of stuff. Okay, now I can grab these which will go on top and then I'll have to uh, move them down um, so this is gonna be a little tedious now uh, oh, oh I forgot that I had to turn off the drop shadow for 
These other ones, no, it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter because it doesn't show on other objects. It only shows the old one. there and I'm gonna put this to for the moment I'm gonna put it to the terrain layer and that is gonna double up the shadows but that is okay because uh, the shadows will go away when I switch it back to uh, regular um, and Okay, so grab you and you, and let's lock all of you and move you back. And then on here, I need some more cabbage. Um, let's go with purple cabbage. They don't have any purple cabbage. Are these just a different size? No, nope, they're the same. Let's actually grab all four of these and let's go shoompity doompity. Oh, actually, let's uh, grab all four of these and hold shift so that they go into different sizes and orientations. I might have to shrink them still, but let's turn off the difference in coloring and then go like this and uh, shrink all of you. I don't want you to shrink based on where you are. I just want you to shrink in general. And then uh, let's grab the two of you. And I'll move you further so that I can put you on top. Let's grab some yams. Uh, assuming they're under yam and not under sweet potato. Oof, and now I've got a migraine. Son of a bitch. Ow. Oof. Pretty sure they're not under yam. But I'm pretty sure I have them. Yeah, not under yam. Potato. Potato. Get some of my Irish heritage coming out. Get a bit of potato. Um. Bread sweet potato. The fuck is sweet potato bread? Okay, so I guess no yams, but we will go with potatoes. Doesn't matter. I don't care that there's uh, some that's. Uh, Covered up. I just kind of like the fact that they're there. Um, we have more. I don't think I have baits. Got beetles. But do I have beets? Okay, I don't need you so big. Swap back to you. No, I don't think I got beets. Can I just... Vegetable? Got some... Like, Schley ones. I got vegetable carts, but not looking for a sack of vegetables also not what I'm looking for 
vegetable stands, soup, that's complete. Okay, I wonder if, uh, do I have it here? Yes, art gallery, um, so let's go home and tokens, map making assets. Rubble decor, it's probably under. Yeah, it's definitely not under gore. Fireplace, potted plants. Okay, so it's not under, maybe it's under clutter. There's 122 sub albums in there. Ranged, adventuring gear. Uh, explosives, food, food, real food, vegetables, 245, oh yeah, this has artichokes and <laughs> green beans and shit, yeah, this is gonna be the one that I need, okay, let us download all, 245, okay, and then swap back to here, put you on top so that I can see if I get any notes, and here, downloads, and, um, they album vegetables into search, back and Winrar extract here and delete and then let's uh, get rid of the extra numbers and shit so open up uh, bulk rename and alrighty artichoke cabbage cucumber onion potato Okay, yeah, all of these, and get rid of one, two, three, four, five, and the underscore, and then the 200, x 200, underscore, and nothing is fucked, right? Nope, nothing's fucked, so rename, okay, and close that, because I don't need it anymore. Um, sounds like the music's done. It's no more Miami Vice. Uh, what bad? 80s crime thriller soundtrack. 80s crime thriller. Um, just way background. Free, no copyright. I don't know. Um,. Galaxy Waves, I don't know if you're okay to use. Prime Thanatos, no. Okay, let's go back into here and see what you got. My synth wave. Uh, let's go with Chill Synth. And there we go. Some Chill Synth. All right, and I'm not going to drag these over onto the thing one by one, so I'm going to go to Mapping Assets, and, um, no, I don't think that should go under there. It should go under Props. Actually, do I have... root and props and food um, and new folder vegetables okay and then now I can drag it from here um, I'm gonna just control a 
drag onto there and wait for it to upload all of them. There's 200 of them, so it does take a little time. There we go. Perfect. And now I can scroll down to props, food, vegetables. There we go. Now let's delete you and delete you. And there are some yams down here. Okay. Let's fill you up, Buttercup. There we go. And move you back on top. All right. And lock you. And what about the, is there onion, eggplant, Carrot. Okay. These the same cabbages? No, I think these are different cabbages. Well, that's fine. What's next? Beets? Yeah, that's definitely beets there. Um, and there's actually below that, on the bottom is radish, I think, yep, those are definitely radishes. It's radishes on that side, is that not radish? Oh, those might be, those are turnips on this one. I think, I think those are turnips. Mushrooms, onions, no, not purple onions, not leeks. White wit, yep. Those are definitely turnips. So let's go like this and Let's get some different wonks on the bunch of you. Okay, and I actually want all of you. Want the uh, I want at least one to have the greens up and color fitty. Fitty, fitty. All right. And to you, put up to top. You over. Okay, perfect. And you over. Perfect. And all of you over. And then lock. This one's the artichokes. Um, back to assets. So, zoom over here and all of these artichokes. Boom, 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 boom. And I can actually just do the, it doesn't matter that I've got the so I didn't uh, change the basket's color. All right, and then move, uh, and move you over there. Lock, grab you, move you to top, and lock. Okay, and that one is, actually I think that one might be turnips, but I'm gonna do radishes in it. 
radishes in this one. Sorry if I keep going to a bad Irish accent. I've been I've been watching some Tri Channel, and I love that accent. I could find myself a an Irish wife. Oh my God, I would be so happy. Slices. No, not that. Select. Hey. It's too small to select. Um, radish. Radish. Not slice, not slice. Radish. Radish. There we go. Get this nice and heaped up. And then again, go to color and 50, 50, 50, and lock. And then I need some green beans in two of these, which are in here. G. Lettuce, leek, garlic, eggplant. Oh, I think they're BG. Beans, green. Yes, there we go. Beans, green. Too small to select. Too small to catch, that is. Okay. Lock you, basket. Lock you, basket. Lock you, basket. Lock you, basket. There we go. Aye. This is a problem sometimes. The, uh... Collection area is oy, so hard to find. Oh, no. come on, come on, selection area. No. There we go, Jeepers. There, uh, no, can't select yet. There, grab you. The fucking hell. There we go. Sometimes you just have to find the exact right one, exact right spot to click. There we go.
There we go. You, there we go. Rotate a bit, and there. Okay. You motherfuckers, lock. Jeez. Jesus. Okay, I need some asparagus here. Um, or no, it was artichokes. Well, I can do asparagus. Okay, if those are going over, because they're long uh, transforms, and they're not like spread out where it looks weird. Um, oh, not transforms, color. Uh, 50, 50, 50, and then this enter is back. Okay, so I need so I need this one first on top, and then this one, then this one. There we go. I can actually select a fourteen. Oh, jeez! Gonna have to figure out how to actually use Foundry before the next campaign because. It's so different to running a game in Ark and Forge. Master's Toolkit is so simple. Oh, I need to move this thing? I just hold shift, select, move. Assuming it doesn't have a tiny little hitbox like those fucking beans. Um, but, yeah. Select on Artichokes. There we go. Uh, transforms. There. Shrink them and then color. But yeah, in the Master's Toolkit, I can just select and move. Oh, hey, my player needs to do this. Okay, done. But uh, not so in... Um, if I... No, I don't want to control that because then I'll be below the... No, no, not you, not you. That mask. There we go. But in Foundry, I like I can't select this. Why can't I select this? What? What's going on here? Why don't? Why doesn't this work? And Put those in the wrong one, but that doesn't matter. Um, and let's grab. You know what? Instead of uh, whatever those are, I'm just gonna grab celery. turn off the randomization options, but I'm feeling lazy right now. 
Okay, so all of this I need uh, you on top, which means I need you and you on top. Oh, no, I don't. That's perfect. This one, let's do some carrots. Uh, I wish there weren't red ones in there because it would be nice to have the yellow ones because there actually are yellow carrots. And I think there are purple carrots as well. No, not five. Fifty. There we go. That's all that. And I actually should lock all this. Then on that, it'd be turnips again, I think. Um, and I'm not going to do mushrooms, but let's say onion. Yeah, purple onions are one of my favorites anyway. Prefer cooking with purple onions than not, or red onions. And then let's do that one as lettuce. Um, actually, let's do this one as peppers. Slices, just peppers. There we go. Various peppers in here. And 50, 50, 50, and. Oh shit, I just noticed that I... Oh no. There we go. There we go. Do that with any of the other ones. Any of the other shadows now not a shadow. Yes. That one. There. And that's it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now jars. Do I have any jars? in a jar and some metal jars 
Okay, let's see what the folks at Forgotten Adventures have. Okay, so it's just those ones that I have, the metal jars. Okay. Um, what does it specifically say? Baskets and jars. Um, do they have maybe bottles that would fit? These are just potion and alchemy bottles and some wine. Nah, none of those fit. Okay. Metal jars it is. I don't need lids, I just need that. Okay. So. This is gonna be fine with different sizes and colors. So. Gonna have to move some of them so that they're not on top of others, but that's fine. Doesn't say that they're neatly sorted though. Okay. And I might go ahead and make some a little bigger. Like folks at Forgotten Adventures have here. I think they do use some of the still some in here okay so I need basically these ones to be bigger okay and I'm gonna drop any down here ones but not that one to be bigger oh. how did I miss those So now let's get them off of one another and off of the baskets. So you move there. Um, and I might actually take off the, not the saturation, maybe just the hue. down there. Let's move you on the floor. Move you in the middle. Fit that one. Move you over to the side. And you up here. Uh, you. Move you below. Uh, there. Ugh, hair get out of my eyes. 
are all fine. You there and you there. You here. Let's say you there and you there and then you there. You there. You there. You there. You're here. And there. And there. There, move you a bit. You over here, you there. And I think that's fine. Move you a bit. And you up here. Yeah, I don't like these ones that have gone pink. Even though, like, I've seen. My mom makes pickled beets. I know exactly that is the color that her jars are because they're pickled beets they they go purple um, grab all of you and save actually and grab all of you and then let's go up a level make sure it's oh I grabbed some beats. Lock you. Go up. Okay. Oh, and the two of you down and lock. And that should be everything. Yarp. Yarp. Okay, let's grab all of you and Let's go color, change the saturation. Oh no, I do have to do the hue. Okay. Um, and then let's uh, do a duplicate and blocking and drop shadow and lock and the ones on the bottom so I don't have to move them around. Okay, let's come down here and move you to there. That covers it basically. And then back to color, brightness zero, opacity 25, and then grab all of you, lock and down. There we go, and then let's grab you and into layering and move to object layer on the bottom and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Um, these two though, because they're on the floor, I need to turn off drop so that it's same opacity as those and I don't have any of those all right all right these I'm gonna do in the the crates I'm gonna do in foundry so I've got a module for letting the players push crates around um, and this I'm gonna do in foundry because it's an ever-burning torch so they can take the torch. So I don't want it to be a part of the map that I export. Um, okay, so... Um, here, 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 here,
else needs to be done? There's the rubble. Rubble. And scatter. And weeds, basically. But mostly just rubble. And this is supposed to be like close to a desolate wasteland, isn't it? Let's open up this and go up to farm features. No. Older Gods Farm. Uh, those foothills of the Shattered Range. Um, Running foothills, bristly shrubs. Okay, so I am going to have to basically move that grass down so that it's just within the walls. And then outside of that is basically dirt and stone, I believe. Let's, uh, I've got lost omens. Uh, no, maps, uh, lost omens. Ancestry world guide. Um, this is the impossible lands with Geb, yes, which does have the mana wastes. But this is close to Grey Dirge, which doesn't look like, well, it's very far from the mana wastes. Mountain Star, Geb, um, yeah, that's history, Road Cree. Um, okay, so that doesn't tell me anything about what the geography is like. Just that there are mana wastes between Geb and Nex. Okay. Well, this map looks like it's not exactly desert, but Geb does not look very, well, it's definitely not very green. Near Grey Dirge, it's got some greenery, and along the river, it's got a lot of greenery. But for the most part, it's got the mountains and grayish brown and then a few little spots of green and gray dirge is basically foothills and grayish brown so i think that is for the most part ugly ugly garbage so let's come down here and grab what i've got here bring you to the top and bring you just to the edges here and just to the edges there and just to the edges here and just to the edges here. Uh, I don't want to be uh, no further than the middle of that. Okay, and back down to bottom. All right, so that's that. Um, let's find some rubble to fill in these two buildings. Yeah, yeah, some rubble. Um, 
Um, so I've got um, six. No, it might be under props. Strengths? No, it's not. Is it under D? No, it's not. Okay. Structures, roof holes, platforms. No. Graveyard, furniture, crops. Um, huh. Thought I had a load of stuff from Forgotten Adventures for this. Uh, rubble? Uh, let's actually see what they've got in their website. Rubble. Live Gallery is showing me. Yes, they do have rubble stuff here. Maps, no. Benetis maps are friggin' amazing though. They do some good stuff. Um, doesn't look like I have any of their rubble. That's JBG. So that's all from uh, Dungeon, which is gone now. I'm gonna have to, yeah, there's stuff with wood. Yeah. Yeah. I seriously cannot see the thing for scrolling in here. A chew, buddy. Are you gonna sneeze? A shoe. <laughs> oh man, that that face you put on when you're gonna sneeze is so good. A bowl, stone, volcanic, yeah. Okay. So there are loads. Is this going to be page three? Nope, two thousand eight hundred and forty-five. System is limited. Okay. Well, I I can't exactly. I mean. I don't know where. I don't know how to edit the set. Don't know how to edit the set. And I'm not gonna do two thousand individual. How do I? You can edit the set or the last 1800 won't be downloaded. Okay. So. That doesn't help. Sent photos, turn to download page. Hey, Forgotten Adventures, how the hell do I do this?
I really don't want to try to do this individually every single one. And see, this goes to Red Rock. And it doesn't give me the choice of next page. Okay, search for rubble. Sort order, photo sizes. No, I don't want to do 2800. Oh, come on. Come on, Forgotten Adventures. Come on. Go rubble pile. Okay. That took out eight hundred. Not even 800, did it? Yeah, 800. Okay. Earthy. Okay, there we go. 403. This stuff will all work. Downloading, do zero, done. Open. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. This one. Uh, delete the vegetables and go up to top. This into there. Back and extract here. And the archive and yeah, I've got to go back to bulk rename in the same place. Um, okay. Couple that are in the thousands, so they've got extra stuff. Um, Six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And let's just make sure that none of these have extra characters at the end. Okay, good. Name those and then go back and I've got these ones. So take off two more. And then this one, take off one less. And that's done. Okay. Um, and then uh, I can close that because I shouldn't need it. And back to this. And uh, import. And just go under props. And 
folder three and open that and then there and wait for that to import all 403. So the problem with these, the ones that have wood, is I can't tint them to the same red that I tinted the brick walls. So that is going to be a problem. Because if I tint, it's also going to tint the wood in the uh, asset. So, hmm. Hmm. Huh. All those came in, okay. Um, have any um, bit rubble what about three okay oh perfect they've got wood debris I can combine that with this yes 300 39 okay back into here delete those old ones and go up and there and drop that into there and back and winrar extract here I'm gonna need to open bulk rename again, delete the archive, and bulk rename. Um, select all, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just make sure there aren't any that are, uh, that have extra characters. Looks like these are all 200 by 200, 200 by 400, and this house some 200 by 600, but none that are over a thousand, so that's good. And rename, okay. Close you again, and um, there we go. Three wooden, there we go, into import. And okay, back to here, back to here. Alrighty. Well, maybe I do still have some of the blue in there.
Bum, bum. Alrighty. So let's close that. And let's get on to, let's close that. And props, debris, and there we go. So, um, need some random wood debris. And let's, uh, yeah. Okay, it's going to be these. And we go with Ashen like he did. And they did. I don't even know their gender or whether they express one. So I will be. Okay, there, and uh, this one's got a bunch too. Okay, and let's grab all of you and I'll transform this color. 50, 50, 50, and lock. Okay. And then let's go in and grab the brick rubble. I don't want any of the ones, but that's fine. I can just grab them all and delete the ones that I don't want. And don't go into the brick and wood. Okay. So. the line. Okay, now let's grab all of these. And, oh, I forgot to turn the, oh, that's fine. So drop shadow for those, and don't need to block sound or anything like that. Color, uh, so 50, 50, 50, oh, shite, didn't notice those, fuck, there we go, okay, 
thought I had locked all of them, but apparently not. And did it get that one? Yes. Okay. I'd have to move some more into there. Yeah, I got a little too much over here, so let's move some more into this area. Oh, that one's just a line. So let's move you there, and let's move you over here. Further in. There we go. And then grab all of you. And make sure these are all rubble stone. Yeah. So then I want to go to color and tint and grab a color. I want this reddish. Control D, I want control uh, C. Let's get them all the same color. Okay, a little lighter. And 57 for B. And what's that look like? little higher on the brightness there we go that's some more color all right and lock all of those save let's go into here layer stack don't show only selected that, uh, <laughs> now it's trying to load every single one that's uh that's that's good. Um, uh, Multi-stream, yeah, nothing on YouTube. Okay, there we go. Um, debris. Okay, pile wood. Pile wood. Okay, grab all of you and hop into here and give you all a drop shadow as well. Um, yeah, you've got to be on top of those, so keep you on the object layer, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, grab, walls Actually, let's do it the easy way um, grab from here to here and then go to here Two fallen doors? I might have two fallen doors there. Seriously, have two doors there? I do. Okay. Well, I guess I can delete one of you. 
Oh, no, that's why, because I gotta use the uh, drop shadow. That's why I've got two. I'm gonna be doing the same on this side. There's gonna be two. Um, I don't need to go as far because I only need the walls. Let's get rid of those. Rubble, 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 debris, 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 leather, rubble, debris, debris, and move to top. There we go. Let's make sure that everything is locked. Yes, let's get rid of you. I think I'm going with this uh, dwarven table. Um, which I think is the only non Arkham Forge or Forgotten Adventures uh, asset on the map. Um, what next? Go away, cat nail clippers. Um, something weeds that's what I'm looking for um, no I want to do the path first so let's go in here and let's see do I want road I think I want road snowy path crossroad Pretty sure there's a road texture. Okay, there's a road texture. And then some paved road, snowy road, dirt road. Let's, let's just test these. Uh, definitely not that. Uh, these should be one, two, three, about four wide. Okay, that's not that good. Okay, dirt road. Uh, pebble road. Uh, pebble road kind of does make some sort of sense given the geography that I'm pretty sure this place has. Um, a lighter dirt road. I might just do both the pebble and light dirt road and then lighten the light dirt road. Other possibility. Oh, I went too far. Where is it? Okay. One other possibility is. Oh God, no! God, no! No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, and now I can't select. Oh no! Oh no! I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. Bug. No. <laughs> um, at two ten. Why, why, why can't I choose you? Why can't I choose you, Pikachu? Um, oh, I should be able to find it in the layer stack. Um, okay, those are different ones. Still filling in. Oh, 
hell those, uh, I'm pretty sure the grass bunches are, yeah, those are what are used in the little gardens. And that's a, that's a lot of them that they placed down. I didn't think there were that many. Um. Oh, you know what I can do? I can... Oh no, it's loading so much that it can't. Um, no. Holding, uh, holding alt is, no. I search road. Okay, that should, there, there, Phew. Huh. okay. This dirt road, this pebble texture. And let's grab the dirt road and see if we've got a good... Okay. Let's, uh, let's grab some sand. Let's try uh, tinting this same color as the sand, and then there. Now it's not not orange. is sandy hmm. okay let's see if it reset 50 and uh, I'm on this and let's see if this breaks it again Yes, it does. not orkin ah there we go turn off chroma that's what had it but I still can't select it and it's just a straight line it's not this wavy so Okay, so this is what I'm going to have to use. This is what I'm going to have to do. Did I not duplicate? I thought I duplicated this. Well, I don't need it duplicated anyway. So, let's get rid of the two of you. Um, is there any other road or path texture? This is just a straight doesn't have any wibble or anything like that. And 
this is what this is, right? No. That's the stone brick. But I can't... I can't get it on here without doing like two or three wide. And that will just look bad. So. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just test path and see if there's anything good in path. No, that's just shadows. Shadow, and that's. Eh. No. Ice, cobblestone, flagstone, but those don't have. Yeah. So it's going to be this. So placement line uh, free form at four wide. Okay, don't go with free form. Don't go with free form because that's going to mess you up. change this to five wide. And then much thinner here. Get into there, but wider again to connect to this. This goes this way. And this comes down here to where this door was, which will also connect into here. Okay. I think that is everything. Yeah. This one, I want to set a taper. Uh, line width, I want this more like seven. And 
end taper, I want much, oh no, start taper. There we go, much thinner. And this one, I want, I think, six. Yeah, six, and then end taper. I want much smaller. About 75 works. Uh, undo move that point. Um, this, I want end taper down to that. Okay. This I also want the end taper down. This I uh, want these. No, not the start. End taper down. Uh, this I think I want to be about eight. And then the start taper to be 50. Because I do want that to be starting at about 4. And it gets wider as it comes down. And actually I want to uh, split there. And I want this one to go the other way. This one goes on top. This one goes on top. This goes on top. And this goes on top. Shouldn't have done all of them at the same time. That's, that's a little slow. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely should not have done all of them at the same time. Placing a line with a texture to get the line up. Select the full. Okay. Unelectable. <laughs> um, makes it unselectable. Um, check my stream at about two nine ish. 
adjustments. Uh, hashtag string announcements. String announcements to see what happened. Happens twice in about five minutes. There we go. There we go. That is done. And that is done. Okay. Now want to select all of these and lock them and then duplicate and then unlock the duplicates delete this um, and grab all these and go into color uh, tint reset. Oh no. Uh, 50, 50, uh, 100. No, nope. 50. There we go. Um, there we go. And grab this. Apparently, I grabbed that up by accident, but that's fine. Um, and then come in here and assets. Got the pebble road selected, so replace, and we go replace, 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 replace. Okay, some of the pebbles are kind of stretched, so you can kind of see that, but uh, it's, it's really the best that can be done. Okay, so. Oh, um, oh, it doesn't even have to be actually at two twenty nine. Oh, oh, it looks like even replacing a line with a line does it. Replace, replace. Yep. Um, and delete. Okay. So let's go into layering, stack, uh, pebble this and then make sure they're all locked for future okay and then I need to make these floors stone I need to make this ugly dirt and then uh, this um, stone, probably a different stone, and then toss in a bunch of weeds, um, and then place a background here, and then go up a level, and place the bushes and um, whatever sand and dirt texture I use here um, and then that should be done that's all that's left don't think I can do it in 28 minutes but we can try we can try um, so let's get rid of that uh, let's find 
Uh, stone floors. So floors, stone, cobble, 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 flat stone, uh, flagstone, I think might be it. Yeah. Large flag. Large flag. Cracks looks less like cracked. So, large flag. The difference between those, that one's darker. So, let's go with this. And. Okay, gonna have to. Do polygon so here 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 and here place um, here here um, probably about let's say there Oh no. No, because the door is here, so probably about here. So here, 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 here. And then get rid of that one. And No, don't move like that. And your stack. Pebble Road. Yeah. Oh, ha ha. And another bug report. And attempting to move the points, the line points after selecting it in the layer stack causes a um, an error. Auto save. About two thirty four. Hello. There we go. Um, and then, um, so still going to save because I need to save. Um, and gonna have to exit. Because that autosave error I can't fix. But I made sure that Nathan, the um, coder, the, the tech wizard of Arkenforge, knows about it. And just uh, waiting for that to close. Um... Okay, that's weird. I've never seen it do that before. Um, oh, hey, Atomic Heart did install finally. Huh. Should I start trying Atomic Heart? I think... I think I will. So let's... Uh, so return to setup and close and uh, let's go shrink that, this, let's pause that. So we'll get about half an hour of Atomic Heart in. Um, assuming that uh, Xbox 
live reads that I've got a uh, controller because sometimes it doesn't. So play. What are you signing into? Yes, let it access. Why are video games always set to not verified? I mean, come the hell on. Um, and display one as it is launching the game. Oh, let's close that. Okay, let's go. 75 gigabytes. Come on, let's load. My computer's not that bad. Okay, there we go. Um, and actually, let's uh, hide that. And Excellent. Shaders are being installed to optimize performance. Um, is there a streamer mode? Quality. Apparently there is not a streamer mode, so hopefully there is not any. It did say partial nudity, so hopefully there isn't any, uh, I guess, nipple, because Twitch doesn't like nipples, and neither does uh, YouTube. How many goddamn shaders need to be installed? Um, and 20 minutes, so. Oh, I guess 25, because I started, I, I went live five minutes before six. So 25 minutes, so that's gonna be 3.05 when I'm ready. Forty, forty one. Oh, I should go into this. Yes, this and edit to um, Atomic Heart, whatever that is. Category Atomic Heart Done. Okay. 
Okay, apparently I cannot change it. Okay, at least I can change the game. Won't let me change the stream name, but it will let me change the game. I'm liking this. Fuck off. Is there a pair of saws on a barbell? I guess I can I can look at the actual screen that I've got it on instead of the tiny <laughs> the tiny preview screen. I think that is a barbell. And stuttering a bit with the shaders getting installed. Okay, shaders installed, new game. Um, racing tour, okay, do you like to overcome? That is admirable. Definitely not going with Armageddon. I'm not very good at video games. I like playing them, but I'm fucking shit at them. So, yeah. Um... Except me, me you can trust. Kind of monsters can grow ever stronger. Keep symbiosis, keep away. Try to expand arsenal whenever possible. Plenty of opportunities all across facility 3826. Um, I'm positive I've never gotten any killed so far. Marvel's build robots, virtual demos. Forget to talk to real people. In case I figure it out. Abilities have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, comrade Major. Okay. Sure. I'm a pop kind of guy. the human doing the rowing rather than the robot. So I'm guessing the Soviets took over the 
Yeah. Yeah. Soviets took over the entire world. Giant fucking pig. I'm pulling up here. Oh, yeah. So Mikhail, but it was spelled English, Michael. The doctor had a very Russian or maybe Ukrainian sounding name, but it was Robot, a peaceful atom, polymerization, huge step. Comrade, distance is no longer a bother. With our devices, we can see each other. Okay. Sure, let's go with pink. Definitely not a gooseberry color. Gooseberries are green, aren't they?
AK Gauss. Oh, wow. Pressing start completely freezes. Unless it was when I accidentally pressed the uh, share. Oh, look at that. Now I have no audio. There we go. Discovery of the polymer, 1936. Comrade Sechnov. I would, I would assume that would be Sechnov, but Sechnov develops the polymers, a scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. Come on. Sechenov's research team is assembled, 37, a pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union, all of them outstanding scientists, including comrades Vavilov, Zakharov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Sechenov, Filimon, Filimonek, Nenko and Chelomey join forces forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. Saying some lore. Invention of the hydrogen cell, 39. 
comrades Setrinov and Filimonenko. Why'd they have to put the one that's difficult to read? Uh, create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future of the Soviet robotics takes on global importance. All right. The Brown Plague, 42. Realizing that its fall is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, inhuman blow against all mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible speed, and there is no salvation from the monstrous pandemic, and existing drugs are powerless against it. Hmm. Oh. Lore, lore, lore. Looks like it's going to be just lore and then ending the stream. Uh, creation of Facility 3826-1943. A worldwide state-sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created. Facility 3826, the apex of scientific progress and the home of the greatest scientists in the world. What are the first facilities? Collective 1.0-1948. The Collective 1.0 neural network is successfully launched at Facility 3826, the world's first global network. It brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. Uh, first manned space flight, April 12th, 51. An unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin is the first man to fly into space. Interesting. Interestinger and interestinger. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh. I assume I'm going to be fighting shit like this. Oh, wicked. Can you tell me about space?
<laughs> Just toss it on the floor. right bump and hold again to activate the scanner We'll get to the end of this first part and then and then call it loads of bots oh hey I like that it's not uh, it's not just on a loop there uh, it actually needs the bot to interact with it to type in. That's pretty good. You do not exist. Or is it only bots that show up?
left and right. Like the, uh, was it the, the sentries that are guarding a door? One tells truth, the other tells lies, left and right. triangles are moving either that or I'm turning in my back. So he's got an American accent, but it's not Americans, like Americans aren't here. So it's just because they don't want to have a Russian accent for their uh, protagonist. <laughs> Charles
Got a very Bioshock Infinite vibe from this city. Just all over the place. A whole bunch of chunks. Pretty sure I won't have that hookshot thing though. Pretty, pretty game. Oh. And audio cut out. And it's freezing. I mean, it was pretty until it froze. So there's that. Does Sergei live in the uh, Sky Palace, but this is all on the ground? I mean, it is really pretty.
<laughs> okay. Interesting. I mean, I was really vibing to that music that was playing, but now, Ugh. now what? Black screen. Oh, buddy. A little snows. Was my pet and get me a little distracted from sleeping? Oh. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it there, especially since it's uh, frozen on a black. S oh, there's roll credits. Took a little while to load that. Okay, so I have telekinesis. It's not telling me how to use it, but I have telekinesis. just happened. Why are the chickens 
red. And the pig. Red is telling me that they're... Oh, shit. Red is telling me that they're enemies. I'm sorry, pig. I assumed you were an enemy because you're... Because you're red in my uh, scanner. Like them. Okay. Chicken doesn't come up, but those things do. And blue is presumably something to get. I'm sorry, Piggy. I'm surprised you're not dead. Okay. Polymer. Okay. Only way through is through the... Okay, some metal parts. Take that, motherfucker. Oh, took the leg out. And then that. Okay, there we go. That one is not... Where's the head? Chickens running around. Okay, that's red, but doesn't have a thing. Oh, there's a sheep. What the? Fuck. He's going to attack, isn't he? Just hitting right trigger. <laughs> no sweat, Sonny.
too much shaking. Oh, apparently not dead. It didn't slam. The brakes worked. Granny, did you get in? No, Granny did not get in. Okay, no, not going up there. Oh, I needed the...
What did I get from him? Shotgun shells. Maybe recover health. Gonna help. The hell is going on there? Manual save. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna save. Grab some ammo, some stuff for building, and let's save. There we go. All right, so, oh, now I can press start in it. Oh no, it still freezes. I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that, um, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the stream. Went, uh, a little bit beyond, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta finish up the next save. Um, and, yeah, I actually, I, I kind of like this. I, it does remind me of, it does remind me of Assassin's Creed 1 where the like second century arab man has a an american accent um so i'm not too fond of that i would prefer if he had a russian accent or if his name was American or Canadian so that the North American accent made sense. Same with uh, Dr. Petrov. Petrov? No, Dr. Dr. S uh, starts with an S. I can't remember what it is. Starts with an S, has a CH in there. Um, but yeah, I like this. I'm definitely going to play more. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, let's, uh, oh, I can exit. I can exit. Okay. And let's go to this and pause, scroll back, and let's go Arkham Forge Affiliate. And, um, I need to pull up this because I closed the thing and I probably shouldn't have. Yes, I'm sure. Quit the game. Um, okay. So, um, back to here. Hit that chill synth. Back to here. Hit play. And we are an Ark and Forge affiliate. Uh, Magic Mushrooms Mead is, at least. I'm personally not but the uh dnd show that i am a uh dungeon master for and the future pathfinder show that i'm game master for um we are an arkin forge affiliate so um about arkin forge uh specifically the master's toolkit uh program it is a one-time payment no subscription fees ever um it can be used fully offline or online if you're playing like us, um, it can be installed on an unlimited number of devices with a single purchase. You can easily import and manage your own content, build fully animated maps with real-time lighting, hook up a TV or projector to play in person, manage your campaigns with a robust linkable note system, 
set the scene with immersive audio. Uh, you get a full commercial license for exported maps, assuming that you're using either Art and Forge uh, assets or um, assets that you have a commercial license for. Um, and it's touch screen compatible for use with physical minis. Um, use code mushroom tips one word for five dollars off of the master's toolkit either the fantasy or sci-fi starters pack uh, which includes the master's toolkit and either the fantasy essentials or sci-fi essentials content pack uh, there's also a 14 day free trial so you can give that a test if you like it then buy it and use mushroom tips um, and yeah, the devs are also extremely active in their Discord, so if you do get it and you have any problems, put it in there. Nathan's, Nathan's fast. Sometimes he puts out five or six patches in a single day finding stuff and oh man, he's, he's great. So um, yeah, thanks for watching uh, and hopefully we will have the whole crew next week to uh continue in the spire of ariel larthus in our rhyme of the frost maiden game um yeah thanks bye